Believe it or not, some people hate Boston. So if you're thinking of moving there, you'll want to know these 10 reasons you might not want to move to Boston. Welcome back to Massachusetts Living. I'm Sebastian Roy, your host and Massachusetts Realtor, and I make these videos just for you with valuable information about life in Massachusetts. So if you're considering moving to or from Massachusetts, or you're just curious about what the Bay State is all about, give me a call, text, or email anytime, and I would be happy to guide you in the right direction. Okay, let's talk about 10 reasons you might not want to move to Boston. And be sure to stay to the end because reason number three and reason number nine have a similarity. Reason number one that you might not want to move to Boston is the city's diehard love for sports. Boston's love for sports goes beyond just passion. Sports are ingrained in the city's identity, formed by a complicated bond between residents and their teams, woven with triumphs, heartbreaks, and an unwavering loyalty that transcends back generations. The successes and failures of iconic teams like the Boston Red Sox, Celtics, Bruins, and the New England Patriots have become synonymous with Boston's pride, and each victory is a collective celebration that echoes throughout the neighborhoods, which usually result in victory parades throughout the city streets, which are a cherished tradition in Boston. And finally, Boston's athletes are not just players, they're truly local heroes. Names like Tom Brady, Larry Bird, David Ortiz, and Bobby Orr are etched into the collective memory of the city. In essence, Boston's love for sports is more than just cheering for a team. It's a cultural phenomenon that shapes the city's narrative. It's a language spoken fluently by its residents, creating bonds that withstand the test of time. So whether you're at a sports bar near Fenway or cheering from nosebleed seats at the TD Garden, you're not just watching a game, you're part of a legacy, contributing to the heartbeat of a city that beats in unison with the victories and defeats of its beloved teams. So if you're not a diehard Boston sports fan, you might not feel at home living in Boston. Reason number two you might not want to move to Boston is the city's public transportation system, which is managed by the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority, or the MBTA. The subway train system, known as the T, consists of many lines connecting to the nearby towns of Cambridge, Somerville, Ashmont, Braintree, Revere, and Roxbury. In addition, extensive bus services cover Boston and its suburbs, offering reliable options with high-frequency routes, while the commuter rail system connects Boston to more distant locations. And lastly, ferry services link Boston to waterfront neighborhoods and destinations such as Hingham and Hull. Now, I don't know if this next one is much of a reason not to move to Boston, but Massachusetts in general is known to be the highest ranking state for education in the country, as well as home to some top tier universities. So if the thought of being surrounded by sophisticated and highly educated folks makes you uneasy, Boston might not be the place for you. Reason number four is Boston's harsh winters. Boston's annual high temperature is of 56 degrees, with summer highs averaging 82 degrees Fahrenheit and winter highs averaging 29 degrees. However, on windy days, temperatures can drop an additional 20 degrees when factoring in the wind chill, so definitely take that into consideration, and this doesn't happen all that often, to be honest with you. The average precipitation levels is about 43 inches per year, and that includes snowfall, and although these numbers might seem frightening at first, the winters in Massachusetts have generally been warmer and had less snowfall than years ago. Reason number five you might not want to move to Boston is the city's dry sense of humor. Boston's sense of humor is a unique and dynamic blend of wit, sarcasm, and a deep appreciation for irony that reflects the city's rich history and cultural diversity. Sarcasm is practically a second language for Bostonians. Boston's humorous landscape is deeply rooted in its history, thanks to the influence from some of the city's renowned comedians like Conan O'Brien, Bill Burr, and Dennis Leary. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future episodes. Okay, reason number six you might not want to move to Boston is the city's distinctive slang. Bostonians are known for fast-paced speech, kind of like me, although I'm not from Boston. Using the word wicked in practically every sentence, 
and most notably leaving out the R's when they're parking the car. So if you can't pick up the Boston lingo or at the very least roll with it, you might want to think twice before moving to Boston. If you don't like seafood, Boston might not be the place for you. Boston seafood culture is a culinary cornerstone deeply rooted in the city's history. Famed for its commitment to freshness, Boston seafood offerings are sourced directly from the Atlantic, ensuring a delightful culinary experience. The diverse menu includes iconic dishes like lobster and clam chowder, showcasing this culinary creativity of local chefs who blend tradition with innovation. With the rich maritime heritage, Boston celebrates its connection to the sea through festivals and traditions, which elevate seafood beyond just sustenance to a cultural experience. From historic seafood shacks to upscale establishments, Boston's iconic venues contribute to its reputation as a seafood destination, drawing enthusiasts seeking an authentic taste of the ocean. In essence, Boston's seafood dominance transcends culinary excellence, embodying a cultural phenomenon rooted in maritime heritage and a profound love for seafood. In a fun fact about me, I previously worked for a small seafood delivery company based in Western Mass a few years ago, and we would drive to Boston weekly, even though it was over a two hour drive one way, because Boston is known to have the highest quality seafood in the state. The eighth reason you might not want to move to Boston is if you want to live in a modern city. Boston is an old city with a rich history. From the Battle of Lexington and the Boston Tea Party, the city's history and buildings date back centuries. The cobblestone streets used during horse and buggy era and the old architecture contribute to Boston's unique character, but if you're looking for shiny modern structures and you don't appreciate the charm of historical buildings, Boston might not align with your aesthetic preferences. Reason number nine you might not want to move to Boston is the city's surprising abundance of green space. Although Boston is the largest city in Massachusetts, its greenery overload defines the city's commitment to blending nature seamlessly with its urban landscape. Iconic parks like the Common and Public Gardens serve as verdant oases in the heart of the city, offering residents and visitors convenient spaces for relaxation and cultural events. The meticulous maintenance of these green expanses reflect Boston's dedication to providing accessible and vibrant outdoor havens. Beyond traditional parks, Boston's green initiatives extend to community gardens and urban farming projects, which fosters a sense of sustainability and community engagement. This intentional integration of greenery not only enhances the visual appeal of the city, but also creates communal spaces where people can connect with nature in the midst of urban life. And during the warmer months, Boston comes alive with residents flocking to its parks, riversides, and trails to bask in the sun and enjoy the natural beauty that surrounds them. The scenic views and recreational opportunities of the Charles River exemplifies how Bostonians seamlessly embrace outdoor living. So if you're not a nature lover, a city with more of an indoor feel or environment might be a better option for you. And finally, the 10th reason you might not want to move to Boston is its domination in the medical industry, which makes Boston a global hub for healthcare and innovation. With an unparalleled concentration of world-renowned hospitals, research institutions, and pharmaceutical companies, Boston stands at the forefront of medical advancements. The city's commitment to medical excellence is evidence in its top-tier healthcare facilities, including Massachusetts General Hospital, Brigham and Women's Hospital, and Boston Children's Hospital, consistently ranking among the best in the world. This medical prowess extends to the city's pharmaceutical landscape, where leading biotech and pharmaceutical companies conduct groundbreaking research and development. The presence of major biotech clusters such as Kendall Square and Cambridge underscores Boston's role as a key player in driving advancements in medical science. The collaborative spirit among medical professionals, researchers, and industry leaders fosters an environment conductive to breakthroughs in treatments, therapies, and medical technologies. Boston's dominance in the medical field has far-reaching impacts, attracting top-tier talent from around the globe 
and propelling the city to the forefront of healthcare innovation. The city's commitment to medical excellence not only ensures top tier healthcare for residents, but also contributes significantly to the global advancement of medical knowledge and treatment. Boston's medical industry domination is a testament to its position as a global leader in healthcare, where cutting edge research, world class medical institutions, and a collaborative ecosystem converge to shape the future of medicine. So if the world of healthcare and medicine isn't your comfort zone, you might want to reconsider moving to Boston. So there's 10 reasons you might not want to move to Boston. Although we focused on reasons not to move to Boston, I encourage you to do further research before writing the city off. In my opinion, Boston's a great city. I've visited family there many times and I enjoy the experience. And every city has its quirks also. So with that said, if you're still set on moving to Boston, or even if you're still unsure, feel free to reach out to me and I will give you some guidance. Also, comment below your thoughts and hit the notification bell so you will be reminded when I publish future videos. See you later.